Hey everybody, today is Monday, November 6th, 2023, and we are back in Schwanksville, Pennsylvania. I honestly just love saying that name, Schwanksville. And the reason why we are back in Schwanksville, Pennsylvania is because we are back to take a look once again at Ott's Exotic Plants, family owned and operated by the Godfrey Ott family. This place is amazing. It is epic. It is one of the coolest places and most interesting places in all of Pennsylvania, which is why I have now brought you out here for, for three separate times. The first time we came out here was to look at the greenhouse and what sits inside this greenhouse. It is a literal rainforest inside there. Big, huge, giant exotic plants and giant trees. There's a mountain you can climb to the top of to look over top of the, the rainforest. There are waterfalls, there are koi ponds. It is really, really awesome inside there. Again, a literal rainforest here in southeastern Pennsylvania that sits inside that greenhouse. I've already documented that. If you guys want to see that video, you can check that out. Then the second time we came out here was because my son, he wanted to go inside the, the greenhouse. So basically, the second time we came out here, I brought you out here to see what Odd's exotic plants is like through the eyes of a child. And he had so much fun coming out here taking a look at the rainforest, all the exotic plants, going into the greenhouse. But then after, after we were done inside the greenhouse, I had to show him something else that sits behind Ott's exotic plants. And that is, that is Mum Mountain, which unfortunately a lot of times throughout the year is nothing really more than a big giant pile of dirt. Mum Mountain was not in, in full bloom when we were out here to take a look at it. But still, I wanted to bring him out here. I wanted to show him the mountain and he had a ton of fun playing on Mum Mountain, even though again, it was not in full bloom. But today, it now is in full bloom. We're gonna see Mum Mountain for what it's worth. It's gonna, it, it's one of the main reasons to come out here to Ott's Exotic Plants. Though, honestly, any time of the year, it's worth coming out to Odds. It is great. It's such a cool, interesting place. It's open every day of the year except for on Christmas, but during the, the fall, right around the beginning, the, the very end of October, beginning of November, one of the main reasons you're going to want to come out here is to see what sits right behind Odds exotic plants, and that is Mum Mountain. I am looking at it right now. It is amazing. It is beautiful. This is so cool. Again, any time of the year, it's a good idea to come out here but especially at the begin beginning of November, end of fall, it's, it's definitely, a good, definitely a good time to come out here. I can't even talk right now. I am just, I'm tongue-tied, I'm speechless. What I'm looking at right now is pretty amazing. Today, we're gonna take a look at Mum Mountain in its full glory. So there are so many different things that makes Ott's Exotic Plants really, really awesome. Not only, again, the amazing greenhouse with the, the rainforest inside it. That is really cool. But the, the actual whole just structure of Ott's in of itself is pretty amazing. The structure was actually built in 1964. And it's been around ever since. And it has a very sort of old school kind of feel to it when you go into the the greenhouse, you do definitely feel like you've been transported back in time. You can tell the greenhouse has some age to it, but look at this building right here. It feels like I'm, I'm in Walt Disney World right now looking at this building. The slate roof, the stonework, it is so awesome. Again, built in 1964. That is really, really awesome. But again, we're not necessarily out here to take a look at the greenhouse or the the amazing like slate roof kind of cottage thing they have going on here. We are here to take a look at this Mum Mountain. Take a look at that. How beautiful is this? And the story behind it is actually quite interesting as well. So back in 1964, when they were building the, the stone building, the, the slate roof building right there, and they were building the greenhouse and they were putting in a new parking lot, they had a whole lot of dirt. And what do you do with dirt when you're excavating? You pile it up somewhere. And right here is where that huge pile of dirt was put. And of course, as giant piles of dirt tend to do, it started to grow weeds and 
look very unattractive. And when you have a place called Ott's Exotic Plants, the last thing you the last thing you want is a huge pile of dirt sitting right next to your building that just looks disgusting and has weeds growing out of it. So the owner said, we gotta do something about this. And they decided to plant all these chrys chrysanthemums. I know the actual word now, not, chrysan not chrysanthemums or whatever I was calling them, chrysanthemums. They planted mums on the hill and it became a tourist attraction in of itself. So I love, I love that, the creativity of, hey, we have this giant pile of dirt. What are we gonna do with it? What, what should we do with this unattractive pile of dirt sitting out back that looks disgusting? It's not, again, it's unattractive. It's, it's an eyesore. What should we do? I know. Let's cover it with chrysanthemums and just make it look beautiful. And ever since, it has become a tourist attraction. People come out here for miles around to visit the greenhouse, to visit the rainforest, but also every fall to see Mum Mountain. There's a staircase leading up to the very top of it, which we're gonna go through, or which we're gonna, we're gonna walk on, we're gonna walk up. And then what's really awesome is there's a cave, a tunnel, if you will, leading through the mountain as well, which is really awesome. So just look at this, it is beautiful. Again, Mum Mountain here at Ott's Exotic Plants just thousands and thousands of chrysanthemums covering this hill. It is pretty awesome. We're gonna go through the uh, tunnel to get up top. While we're walking past it, I just wanna show you another shot of this really awesome building here. Again, 1964, stone, slate roof. Look at the opening up there. I would assume at one point that probably was some kind of like birdhouse or I'm sure it wasn't just covered with plywood back when it first opened. It was probably something more decorative, but still looks looks awesome. The stone archway with the keystone there. Such a cool building. And then again, Mum Mountain. But like I said, we're going to walk through the tunnel to actually get up top. Look at this. I mean, come on. How cool. And again, creative. And just, it's something different. They could they didn't have they didn't have to excavate a tunnel through the through Mum Mountain. They, they didn't need to do that, but they did do it to add a little bit of extra charm and flair and excitement to Mum Mountain. You can hear the the water actually dripping. It's like you're inside a cave. You can see the water sort of dripping out of the stonework. This is too awesome. <laughs> you can see why somebody like me who loves interesting roadside attractions would love a place like this. And you can see why someone like my son will love coming out here. They can play in the greenhouse. They can look at all the cool exotic plants. And then afterwards, they've got a tunnel to walk through and a mountain of mums to climb. Look at that. So beautiful, so amazing. And I can just, I can smell them from here. Every time a little bit of breeze blows my way, you can smell the mountain. And of course, it's a bunch of chrysanthemums. It smells amazing. So I was hanging out at the bottom of Mum Mountain waiting for some people to get done taking some photos. It's a very photogenic place. People literally come from all around this time of year just to use this as a, a photo backdrop. And, as I was standing down there, I'm looking across the parking lot and I noticed something really interesting. We have to take a look at. I have no idea what this is, but if you're a fan of the, the classic movie, Wizard of Oz, tell me, this does not look like something straight out of that movie. What the heck is this? I do not know what this little structure is. I do not know why it's here. No clue, but it is awesome looking a tiny little round building with a wood slate roof, kind of looks like a witch hat. That is so cool. Again, who knows why this is here? Maybe this was where you bought tickets for something. Maybe this is where you paid when you bought your plants. I have no idea why 
this was built, why the structure is here, but it is, it is awesome looking. Again, straight out of the Wizard of Oz. This is so cool. Look at this. The way it's designed, I, lo I love the woodwork. You can see right inside. There's definitely some kind of, I mean, again, it looks like a kind of ticket booth or where you used to pay for something with the little kind of shelf here. I have no idea what this structure is for. Although the plot thickens, look at this. All kinds of pipe work down there. So may maybe, uh, no, I was gonna say maybe this was made because of, of the pipe work, but definitely not. Th this is made for, again, for tickets or for like some kind of pay booth or something like that. There's a fan in here. They would not have built this structure. They wouldn't have made it look like, look like this just to cover some pipes. However, I mean, with the creativeness of, of Mum Mountain, what I'm thinking is maybe they had, they had to have some kind of access to these pipes and they decided, well, let's build a whole structure on top of it. So they, they probably had this hole where the pipes were. They were just going to probably, you know, cup, they could have just covered it with some kind of like manhole type thing or some kind of like easy access, just a little latch that allows you to go down inside. But they probably needed some kind of ticket booth or some kind of paying booth, some place where you, you paid for your plants. And they thought, well, let's just build it over top of the door. I would be willing to bet that. So that is that is awesome. Again, this is just really, really cool and interesting looking. Another little kind of pay window here. Yeah, we had to take a look at this. That is that is awesome. Again, straight out of the Wizard of Oz. That is just such a cool, interesting looking building that sits back here at the very back of the parking lot. No idea why that's here. Do not know what its purpose is and or was, but it's awesome looking. All right, all right. So it's finally time to climb Mum Mountain. Look at all these different color chrysanthemums. There's white, there's yellow, there's maroon, there's purple, there's kind of orange. I mean, it just screams fall. The colors are amazing and they're beautiful. I love all the stonework as well. They put these huge boulders in just to add some, just add some class and some ambiance and just, just, to, just to class it up. I, I like it. Just to think that at one point, this was nothing more than an unsightly pile of dirt growing weeds. Excavation dirt from when they built the, the cottage looking area over there. When they built the parking lot, they just had all this dirt. What do we do with it? Let's turn it into a tourist attraction, into Mum Mountain. Let's cover the entire thing with chrysanthemums and just make it look beautiful. Who, who knew that all these years later it would still be here and people would be coming from miles and miles, miles and miles around just to climb Mum Mountain. I'd be willing to bet though these um, railings are probably, these railings are probably also from 1964. Maybe they were grandfathered or something because um, I have a feeling these aren't really up to like safety regulations. I could very easily, like this one, Look at this one here. It comes up to my mid thigh. This, the, the railings, they do nothing. This, this does nothing. You could easily topple down there. So if you do come up here, just be warned. The, uh, the railings are slightly, ever so slightly sketch. They're very, very short. You could very easily fall off of Mum Mountain. If you have children, be very careful. There's no there's nothing, there's no guardrails. So it could be slightly dangerous, but it is awesome. And just think of how amazing of a story that would be though, if you were to fall off Mum Mountain. You have the scar on your face. How'd, how'd you get the scar? I fell off a mountain of chrysanthemums. If I, if I had a scar on my face because of that, I'd be all right with it. This is absolutely beautiful. And it just, again, it smells amazing. You can smell all the, the chrysanthemums and just how amazing every single one of these smells. Every little just slight gust of wind or just slight breeze that blows by just puts a, the, the scent of chrysanthemums in my nose and it smells amazing. Look at this. At the very, very tip top, there's a platform and they have these, these plastic tubes. They put the mums in as well. 
everyone a different color. That is cool. And it gives you such an amazing view from all the way up here as well. And just, again, the this, this smell. They smell amazing, awesome smelling flowers. And there it is, the, the stone slate bu building, the really awesome conservatory greenhouse over there with the literal rainforest inside it with a waterfall and everything. I did a video on that already. You guys did two videos on that already. You guys can check that out. This is so cool. I love it. It's awesome. I mean, this is a reason to come out to Schwangsville, Pennsylvania every single fall to climb Mum Mountain to see one of the greatest, I, the greatest artistic, creative uses of, of dirt ever. Because again, that's what this is. It's a creative use of dirt. You have extra dirt. You have a pile of dirt. What do you do with it? You plant flowers on it and you give people just one more reason to want to come out to visit your store. And they, they did a fantastic job. Apparently there's also cats running around. Another reason to come out to, to Ott's Exotic Plants. I love, I love kitties. Again, this honestly is just really, really awesome. I love everything about Mum Mountain. I love the, the story behind it. I love the creativity behind it. I love the fact that it's just a really interesting roadside attraction. I love the liter literation. I love just being able to say Mum Mountain. That's a lot of fun as, as well, which is why I've been saying it over and over and over again in this video. Just so, so awesome. So beautiful. And if you're out of shape like me, so tiring walking up and down these these stairs. <laughs> yes, I will fully admit I'm ever so slightly out of breath, but we have made it to the whew, to the bottom again of Mum Mountain. I will be saying that over and over and over again because it just sounds awesome. I love a good alliteration. Just so incredibly beautiful. Oh, apparently I'm a uh, glutton for punishment because um, I want to take some photos of Mum Mountain to post on Instagram. And now I got to walk all the way back up top. I should have thought about this when I was actually up here that we could have just taken photos while I was, again, already up here on the top of Mum Mountain, but I don't think that far ahead. And um, whew, now that I want to, I want to take some more photos. I had to walk back up those stairs and my, my legs, they are feeling it. Again, I'd like to, um, to reiterate the fact that you gotta be very careful when you're up here because these railings are very, very low. And if you're ridiculous like me and you're trying to get those perfect Instagram photos and you're, you're backing up, <laughs> yeah, I, I almost just took a tumble down Mum Mountain. That, that scar, that scar I so badly want so I can tell people but I got it falling off a, a mountain of chrysanthemums. I almost just, just got, yeah, that was, that was a little scary and also kind of ridiculous. Just, just be careful. That's all you gotta do. Just pay attention, basically. Do, do the exact, the exact opposite of me. Pay attention. Okay, so hopefully I got enough good photos on top of the, uh, the mountain, mum mountain, because uh, I'm not climbing back up here. Again, my legs are slowly turning to, to jello. This is why you have to get out of the house more often because if you don't, this is what happens to your, your legs, climbing up and down slate, not very tall inclines like, like Mum Mountain. Yeah, I really should not be that winded by climbing up and down this. It's not that big of a hill, but it's, it's an awesome hill. It's an amazing hill. It's a, it's not a hill. It's a mountain. It's a mum mountain. A mountain of chrysanthemums. And again, it's amazing. It is beautiful. It smells fantastic. So now that I'm at the bottom of the staircase, I very simply could just walk around the very side of the mountain to get back to the front, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, 
I'm not taking the easy route. I'm taking the fun route. We're gonna go back through the, the tunnel because let's face it, where there's a tunnel, there's me walking through it. You have to go, you have to go through a tunnel. You can't, you can't bypass a tunnel. It doesn't work that way. You have to go through the tunnel and we're gonna go back through it. I also really love how this tunnel was designed. They could have very easily just made a straight through tunnel. You could see from one end to the other, but again, creativity, they did not do that. They made it twist a little bit so you can't actually see one end from the other. Looking through the tunnel, you have no idea how, how deep this tunnel goes. I mean, obviously you can kind of get an idea. It's not that big of a mountain, but it is really interesting the way it's kind of an optical illusion where you don't quite know how deep it goes, how far it goes until you really start walking through it. It's not till you actually come around the bend that you can see the other end. Again, that is so awesome. It's so interesting. It's creative. It's, it's unique. It's a, it's a tunnel through a mountain of mums. It's awesome that since I've arrived, a ton of people have come out here to walk through the tunnel, to walk to the top of, of Mum Mountain. There's been people out here taking photos, probably just for themselves, for Instagram. Some people doing some modeling photos out here, which is pretty interesting. But I mean, you can see why you would want to do that. It is, again, it is beautiful. I just, I, I love the idea and the creativity of Mum Mountain. It's a, it's a tourist attraction, but it's also a form of, of advertisement, if you will. People know this exists. People come out here to see Mum Mountain. And when they come out here and they climb to the top or they, they go through the tunnel or, or they take their photos, they might pick up a, a gourd. They might pick up a pumpkin. They might buy some, some chrysanthemums. They might go into the, the greenhouse and pick up an exotic plant. It's, it's creativity that's also advertisement. It's, it's genius. And this sort of thing is the kind of thing I love. I love creativity and I love it when it's in the form of an awesome roadside attraction. All right, guys, so I think that's just about gonna do it for Mum Mountain here at Ott's Exotic Plants in Schwanksville, Pennsylvania. I love this. It's so beautiful. It's amazing. It's creative. It's a fantastic piece of roadside oddity, roadside attraction goodness, awesome piece of, of advertisement. And like I said, just the creativeness of them taking nothing more than a mountain of dirt from the excavation of the amazing Disney-like structure here built in 1964. They took that dirt and they turned it into something amazing. Godfrey Ott. This has actually been owned, family owned and operated since its opening by the Godfrey Ott family. Godfrey Ott said, let's do something with, with the pile of dirt. Let's make it beautiful. Let's take an eyesore and turn it into a tourist attraction, turn it into something people will come from miles around to check out, to admire, to have their photos taken with. Brilliant idea. That is awesome. Mum Mountain, get out here. Take a look at it. Take a, take a whiff of it. Get your photo taken with it. You will not be disappointed. And of course, while you're here, grab a gourd, grab a pumpkin, and definitely go into the amazing greenhouse and see the, the actual rainforest here in southeastern Pennsylvania. It is awesome inside there. Again, I've already done a video for you guys inside there. I'll leave a link to that down below. You guys can Google that if you want. It is pretty amazing in there. But again, today, just wanted to bring you out here to see Mum Mountain. So happy I got to document this and show this to you guys. It is awesome. All right, guys, so again, that is gonna do it for Mum Mountain. But you know what? Before I leave, I, 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 can't, I can't leave without once again walking through the tunnel and taking a look at the mountain just just one more time. I have to do this. I'm here. I don't live too far away from here, but regardless, I just I just got to do it since I am here. I have to walk through the tunnel once again. Because how awesome is this? The kid in me, the adventurer in me, the lover of roads and attractions 
roadside oddities, roadside goodness. Just can't get enough of this tunnel and cannot get enough of what you see when you walk into the tunnel and what you see when you walk out of the tunnel of mountain of chrysanthemums. But all right, guys, that is gonna do it. And yes, it's, uh, it's a slight incline walking through the tunnel and I am now slightly out of breath. But all right, guys, again, that's gonna do it. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can, oh, I'm out of breath. You know what? I'm going to walk to the top again. Check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you're going to pick yourself up some retro rest stop t-shirts and stickers and buttons and things like that. Proceeds both from Patreon and Spreadshirt do help support the show. They keep the show going. So I really do appreciate it. It brings us out to awesome and amazing places like whew, Mum Mountain. You know what? Since I did walk all the way to the top, I feel like I should take the path I haven't yet gone down. So, all right. Again, guys, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And if you guys watch this video all the way, whoa, I almost fell. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag, you know what? Let's make it easy. Hashtag mum mountain, because I love that word. I love that. I love that phrase, mum mountain. Hashtag mum mountain, mum mountain, I just fell again, mum mountain down below. If you guys watch this video all the way until the very end. And like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. That Hulk up there really wants you guys to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And if you have been out here, if you've been to, to Ott's uh, Exotic Plants, or you've been to Mum Mountain, leave your comments down below. Let me hear about your experiences out here. I love hearing about you guys traveling to these places as well. But whew, I, got, I, got, I got to ditch the jacket now. I'm getting warm. So anyway, guys, that is going to do it. Oh my gosh, it is a hawk. Look at that. An airplane and a hawk. I believe it's a red-tailed hawk, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, that's awesome. So again, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. I swear, I'm gonna let you guys go down. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Again, Mum Mountain, Ott's Exotic Plants, Schwanksville, Pennsylvania. Get out here, see this. It's not gonna be around for a lot longer. Only really lasts a couple of weeks, but it's definitely worth your drive, worth coming out here, worth seeing. Bring the kids. All right, again, guys, that's gonna do it. So. I'll see you guys next video. All right. Bye.